Well, good morning, beautiful good morning. people. Today was a very important morning for us, especially for Lincoln. Yes. Lincoln, are you feeling good? Yes. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I feel so good. So we went in to the hospital bright and early this morning for Lincoln to have a follow-up MRI yeah. and a, not a CT scan, what was, was the other thing? A, um, they, they take it, an x-ray to make sure yeah. that his shunt hasn't moved. There's a valve, it's a magnetic valve. So after the MRI, they take the x-ray to make sure that everything's still good on him. So. Right, so this is this marks the one year follow-up of Lincoln's oh, yeah, yeah. first brain surgery last yeah. fall that we went in for, yeah. where they found that he had hydrocephalus and his spinal fluid was blocked and that yeah. whole thing that was super super scary um, so this is one year since then and so they were doing all the testing yeah. making sure everything still looks good Lincoln was so excited to walk into the hospital this morning <laughs> he was waving at everyone he was like shouting and cheering and uh, when he put his so bracelet fun? on for the hospital yeah. he was yeah. so excited everyone was just cracked up at like how excited he was to be at the hospital I, I yeah. think just because like He's we've like, spent huh? so much time there it's familiar to him so he was remembering like yeah. oh yeah I know this yeah, place for sure. so it was actually a good experience for him and then we yeah. had the follow up with his neurosurgeon yeah. he said everything looks really really good um, we yeah. did have some concerns just with um, some other things that he thinks is not related to the shunt but yeah. he has had a couple of breakthrough seizures the past few months yeah. and he's had some of these weird episodes where he gets really off balance for a couple of hours and is like dizzy and falling yeah. um, he actually fell actually, and busted his lip really yeah. really bad last week last week and we took him into the hospital near our house just to kind of have everything checked out I was worried that maybe there was an issue with the shunt so they did test last week too and just saw that everything looks good so we are going to follow up with his neurologist just to figure out what that might be related to but it's yeah. not anything having to do with the, what they did last year with the surgery so that's very good news yes. and so now it is time to have some breakfast right Linky? yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. It's time <laughs> for like us guacamole to go. yeah let's go yeah yeah <laughs> It's a good day, guys. Good, <laughs> good, day. good day. It is going to be a really fun day as well because we are going to be pulling out all of our fall decor and decorating for fall. We're like a week away, guys. And so making some yummy soup because the temperatures are starting to drop and it's it starting is. to feel more like fall. And we're going to make some Zupa Toscana tonight, oh. which I made for the first time last week. Best soup I've ever had in my life. The kids were like just, they devoured it. And yeah. so Reese wasn't home for that. So I told her this week I would make it again. So we're going to make it this evening, do some fall decorating. So but first we're going to go get some yummy food and just celebrate a good yeah. meeting. Lincoln yeah. say yay! <laughs> Let's go. some crackers here that we got from World Market. Do you guys know this brand? I grew up eating these crackers. They're, I think from Germany. They're so good. He doesn't actually want to eat them. He just wants to carry them around, which is kind of funny. Hey, buddy. Okay, so we are home from the doctor's office and we have a few things that we're wanting to do today. Like I mentioned, we want to um, decorate for fall, but Stephen also has just pulled out some of the um, extra grass seed that we had from the spring. We're just trying to like reseed things over where they dug up our septic a few months ago because we're about to have a whole bunch of rain for the next five or six days. And so hopefully that can kind of just help it to um, grow again a little bit more before we hit winter. Yeah, Lincoln, you really like the soccer balls, huh? Jude's got his uh, soccer goal set up here and uh, the kids play in the front yard a bunch. But um, hopefully we can get at least some of the grass grown back again since we have all these patchy areas in our yard and it just honestly looks terrible. So we're gonna work on that for a minute and then I'm gonna put Lincoln down for a little nap and then we can get started on some of these other fun things this afternoon. Whoa! There you go. Are you gonna kick it? Kick it with your feet. Good job, Lincoln, you big boy.
Okay, so we just had the most glorious nap. It started raining and we put Lincoln down for a nap and then Steven fell asleep and I fell asleep and I think Ethan just rested on the couch, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think he actually slept, but I think even some of the girls were sleeping because it was very, very quiet in our house. So that was amazing and a very rare thing, but I am super excited because we just got a few packages in, including our next package of Haya Vitamins. So thank you to Haya Health for sponsoring this video. You guys, we have been using Haya Vitamins for multiple years at this point. I I saw them in an ad like multiple years back and I was looking for a vitamin that didn't have a lot of sugar because nowadays children's vitamins are just like loaded with sugar and gross chemicals and like weird dyes and just it's basically candy, right? Um, so I was looking for an actual children's vitamin that was going to help nourish our children's bodies. So this one really stuck out to me because it said zero grams of sugar, which is a big deal because I don't think there's really any other vitamins that can say that. But another big one for me was that they have methylated B vitamins, which is something I know you guys have heard me talk about in the past because I have something called MTHFR. So methylated B vitamins are super, super important because they are not the synthetic B vitamins, which is really hard for your body to absorb. A lot of cheap vitamins nowadays have synthetic vitamins in them. And so you wanna find something that has methylated B vitamins and Haya Health has them. So I ordered our first box a few years ago and had Ethan and Lincoln try them and both of them liked them, which is a huge win. And so we've just been taking them ever since. So I wanna show you what they look like because we just got another package in so that Lincoln can have his own. Um, the boys have just been kind of sharing at this point. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's actually a glass bottle, which I love. It's not like a yucky plastic. And then each month they will send you a new pouch that you will just refill into this glass bottle and this is what you'll be using. And so I really love that. It cuts back on waste and then the kids can actually decorate these each themselves. And so Ethan has decorated his and then we're going to go ahead and do a new bottle for Lincoln so they each have one of their own. So this is how Ethan decorated his. He put his name, we got some cool stickers on there. I heart Angus. I heart Angus. And Rizzler. And Rizzler because we have a preteen. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> I love that. That's really cool, buddy. And you even have like a little rainbow on the top. That's cute. So now that we have a new one for Lincoln, we are going to decorate it with these stickers that they um, gave us. You want to help Lincoln decorate his stickers? Yeah, you want to decorate? You want to decorate yours, Lincoln? Yeah. That sounds good. Ethan's going to help you spell your name, okay? One, two, three. L. L. So L for Lincoln. That's good. Yeah. Do you want to put a sticker yeah. on? Yeah, say so I want to decorate mine because it's so cool. Do you want to put a sticker on? Yeah, okay. So this is so fun. We get to decorate our own, huh? And here's a little heart. Do you want to put the heart on? Mom! Mom! Yeah, here we're decorating as high of vitamins. L-I-N. He's like so proud. He's like, I bought my own bottle. Yeah. Here, put it on the top here. Good job, Lincoln. And then this is what the refill looks like each month. They just send you a little box like this with a little pouch in it. And then you just rip off the top and pour it in the glass bottle. And then you're set for the next month. So it's super, super easy. Um, like I said, our kids love the flavor. They have no problems taking it whatsoever. And Ethan will actually just take it with his breakfast each morning. And then we'll just give one to Lincoln when he eats his breakfast as well. So yeah, I definitely recommend that you try them out for yourselves. And like I said, we have loved them for years. And I feel like you just can't find a better high quality children's vitamin on the market. And and I actually have a code for you guys. If you use the code MillerFam, you will get 50% off of your first order. So that's really great as well. And I hope you guys enjoy. I really, really think you will. Wait a second. Yay! I brought some full pump. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Excuse okay. me. I'm so excited. My eyes are up here. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Look at how cute these pumpkins are though. The green and the white. Yeah, I got a few for each side. I love them, I love them. I like them. I think there's a couple more, but Steven and the girls just went to the store and got some pumpkins because they knew that we were gonna be doing our fall decorating. Thank you, babe. Uh, I saw them. I, I love like, these like flatter ooh, ones. That I are... know she's decorating for fall today. Maybe she would like some delightful pumpkins. Thank you. So guys, the other day we had every intention of trying to decorate for fall and uh, some of the older kids got home from work and we just got to talking and so did it. And uh, and then it's been pouring down rain uh, for the last couple of days and so we are finally, uh, it's Sunday, we just got home from church and it is not raining and so I think we're gonna decorate for fall today. Amanda's got this Zupa Toscana that is just maybe the greatest soup I've ever had in my whole life. And so she's gonna make that tonight and we're just gonna have, you know. Lincoln's probably gonna sleep through some of this cause he yeah. always takes a nap after church and he's pretty tired, right? You ready for a nap, bud? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's do some decorating. Theo. Theo's wearing like a little fluffy cone type thing because he kept scratching at his fur and he got a little prescription from the vet. Wow. But it's actually really cute on him. Yeah. <laughs> and also, Ethan, I really like your glasses. Those are cool. They're not prescription glasses. They're just ones that um, are from Pear Eyewear that Disney sent us and you can really like them. They're really cool. You wore them to church today and looked super cool. I love them. Found it. Are you gonna help us decorate for falling? Is you happy boy? He's got the tongue hanging out and everything. <laughs> oh, Steven's definitely Angus's favorite. Uh, I love you. You are. I love you, puppy. <laughs> Look at that grin. <laughs> He really does think he's a human. It's nice to meet you. I am. High five. Angus. Wouldn't it be funny if we taught him a high five? That Angus, would be funny. Angus. Oh, yeah. Good job, Angus. Our little flower kitty. <laughs> cute that is. It's like a eucalyptus leaf, but it's like like a pale orange color. So we've got two of those for the front door and then like some garland for the mantle. And the guys could only find one box of our fall stuff. And I'm pretty sure we had two. I know we had a lot more than this. So this is what we're working with right now. We have a table runner and then some just like random decor here. So we'll pull it all out and see. This yellow one just Pretty? I like that one, personally. You like this one more? I do. But there's only one. We've got other doors. Yeah. That's like where are we going to put that? We should put it over our <laughs> so back there. We could put it in our room. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it, I guess. Can you even see him? Got some little pumpkins here. So I definitely have a second box with a lot of fall florals and vines and things, and I can't find that box right now. Um, but we have these flowers. We just actually celebrated Ethiopia New Year last week, and so these are the yellow flowers that we had, which are still blooming really pretty. So we're just gonna leave those on the table for now, and I'm gonna try to find that other box. And if we can't find it, then I can probably go find some stuff on sale at like Hobby Lobby or Target or Walmart, something like that. Um, but for now, we have a few things to like fill in the um, shelves here and that kind of thing. So we're just gonna do that, to pull out some of the pillows, and then I can kind of take inventory and see what else I need because we definitely have more than what's out right now. I just don't know exactly where it is. Last year with Lincoln in the hospital, so much in and out of the hospital and there's just so much stress um, and heartache. I just, I couldn't even really get into the spirit of decorating. Like that was the, the last thing on my mind. And so I feel like this year is going to be really fun to decorate because we're not in such a stressful season this year. Um, in a lot of ways, and so um, just kind of having a little bit, a little bit more space to like enjoy the moments instead of feeling like you're in survival mode, you know, is going to be, I think, really nice. Okay, that's starting to look a lot better, at least on that side. I'm going to finish this up, hang it there, and then you guys tell me if it looks good or if I maybe need to do something else or put this in a different spot. I feel like this is really for mantles, right? Like where else would you put garland? Probably just mantles. So on the camera, it's coming out a lot more like a vibrant orange. And in person, it is a much softer, like muted, very um, soft orange, like more of a peachy orange. But when you step back on the camera, it looks a lot brighter. Like in person, it is much more muted than this, which I really like. I don't want it to be like super orangey bright. So it's kind of weird just because I think it looks a little different for you guys than it does in person. But it is like a nice soft muted orange. And then these are some other ones that I just got from Magnolia. Um, and they are more of a brown color, but they were sold out of that color for the actual mantle. So that's, I just got that for the the wreaths and stuff, but I really like this. So I just got this little green vase from Target and then they all had, they had three of these left. So I don't know, it kind of looks like it needs more branches in here, but I don't know, kind of also looks like, like it works, right? I'm telling myself it works. Good, sir. I like it. Mm. 
What do you think of the mantle? It's delightful. Do you like the garland? Yeah, I think it cuts up. Yeah. It's so very fallish. Yeah. yeah. But do you like having like a big garland on the mantle? Yeah, it's kind of why we put the mantle up. I know, I'm just saying we've never, we've always like hung things from the mantle, but we've never like had like garland on. I like that. But I like it, it's more of like a classic look. And then you could put like a uh, Christmas tree, or whatever that's called. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was saying. I, I do want to like have more of like a classic look this year. I'm yeah. probably going to go to the store and get a few more things Love to it. just kind of have like a, I don't know. It's like fun to like yeah. decorate this year because we didn't really yeah. get into last year. It's not really cold enough to do a fire right now, but Stephen wants to turn it on just so we can like just get the full fire. effect. Wow! Yeah, do you like it? Then? <laughs> Isn't it look so nice? It looks really good. So I ordered some of these little wreath hangers on Amazon um, because normally I do like over the door, but I feel like they were like scratching the door really badly, and so I'm gonna try to do some of these where they just kind of suction onto the door itself and see if that works. I've never tried it this way, but then we have two wreaths that we're going to, thanks Ethan, two wreaths that we're gonna hang up on these double doors and see, see if that works. What do we think, what do we think? Are you helping me? Are you being a big helper boy? Thank you. <laughs> You're just gonna walk backwards. I'm backing away slowly. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, Lincoln? Silly boy. All right, I was actually trying to film the wreath <laughs> and he opened the door. Ew. Okay guys, I think that's actually really pretty. Do you like it, Lincoln? So now I just need to do the other side and uh, and see how that looks, but I actually really like that. And Lincoln does too, high five. Thank you, bud, thank you so much. straight those branches and bring them out so that they look fuller and bigger. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we're done with fall decorating and I'm going to get started on the soup in just a second. Um, and Reese is gonna be making some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies, but we actually needed a couple more things from the store that I forgot to get. And so Kira and Jude went to the store to pick up those things and then I'm gonna get started chopping up some of the veggies and hopefully it's gonna be really good, but we're just gonna have all the cozy fall vibes this evening for dinner, so I'm so excited. bacon and then I'm going to do the Italian sausage um, and then chop up the potatoes, onion, garlic and simmer all of those in the chicken broth, add some kale and a little bit of heavy cream and that's basically it. I mean it's a pretty simple recipe but it is so 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 delicious. Ever. We have uh, it's really good, and I'm just, just so full right now. I am, I'm so. Full. I didn't even eat that much, but the soup it's, is like really filling. It's so filling, but it's the kind of soup that you just want to eat. Like, oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Like, Lincoln so liked good. it. Lincoln had two. Lincoln, bowls did you it. like it? Yeah, he's trying to show you how much he liked it. Yeah. And then we gave Angus a little bath because he really yeah. needed it. He was starting to smell like a dog. Smell like a dog. Smell like a dog. 
gosh. <laughs> we are going to close this vlog out yeah. because the kids have school tomorrow. They do. Lincoln is like, he's literally put on his shoes like four or five times this evening. He wants to go out. <laughs> and it's always like he gets so excited going to school yeah. and has such a good time and has Seriously. such sweet teachers. Whoa. So I keep Whoa. telling him tomorrow you get to go to school, right, Lincoln? You excited to go to school tomorrow, buddy? Yeah. We're so excited. We're also really tired. <laughs> yeah. We did skip nap today, which yeah. was yeah. You which normally I, nap. I guess I did skip nap. I, I was yeah, like editing. I was editing on the couch and I fell asleep. So I know that was but, really uh, sweet. I needed we it. heard you <laughs> like snoring. kind of not really snoring, but like kind of breathing loud. And I think it was Kira and I were in the kitchen and we were like, wait, what is that? And we're like, Ted's literally asleep on the couch. I'm glad you got a little nap in though. I needed it, man. I was really tired. Hard. Today, yeah. So. You need a good nap every now and then. I do, you know. And a good night's sleep tonight, which is what I yeah. am looking forward to very much. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and close it out and say goodbye. Yes. Thank you so much for hanging with us, guys. I know Absolutely. we're not as consistent on here, on YouTube, and um, it's just been good to like be able to put family first and not have to think about vlogging that much. But we right. really do love you guys well and we love to be able to show up in this space. Yeah. And we're so grateful for you guys to continue to come back and spend time with us. So thank you Absolutely. for being here and we'll have another video out for you guys in the next couple of weeks as well. 100%. Can't wait to see you guys again soon. Bye. See you later. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye. <laughs> for your namesake You will lead me back